my floss tube it's Jen also known as quirks and stitches uh, welcome to my craft room uh, it's a work in progress kind of like all of my house but I figured I was gonna take a different um, approach today to my filming so um, I'm just gonna breathe and I'm gonna get ready for this because it's gonna be a long one um, if you follow me on Instagram you've kind of kept up with a couple of the things that are, are here right now first of all my hair I decided that I in the world of, of COVID I was not enjoying having to schedule getting out to the salon and so um, I do have to get out for my eyebrows so um, <laughs> getting uh, out there and and trying to coordinate and I've just not really found a hairdresser here that I like so every time I go it's not what I want and so I had been talking to Brandon and I had talked to my mom and I was like, I've always wanted to just buzz my hair and see what happens. And I feel like now is the best time to do it because I don't have to leave the house if I don't want to. And, you know, I can just, if I hate it, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm in a lot of Zoom meetings, but, you know, we'll see. So, and so I, I did it and Brandon, Brandon actually did it for me. We have some touching up to do. Uh, it needs to be trimmed up a bit, but I'm, I'm liking it a lot. So, um... Short hair is not anything new to me, but it all the same and no bangs is different. So, uh, but did that. Then um, I have been thinking a lot. You know me, I like to do my planning. I like to figure and sort and organize and create ridiculous challenges for myself um, to keep my, to keep motivated, I think is why I do it. Um, so I've been thinking a lot because I have... Um, I have, I'll be turning 40 in a year and a half. So I've been thinking about what that means for my stitching and I've been struggling a little bit because there's part of me that is like in this, I want to start more things. And then there's part of me that's like, I really want some of these things that I have started finished. Um, and I, I wasn't able to finish as much this year as I had originally planned. So um, I think there was like kind of a disappointment. I, I mean, I set some pretty lofty goals and that were a little ridiculous. So um and then life happened. So, you know, it just doesn't always work. But, um, you know, I have a year and a half until I turn 40. And so I've been thinking about what that means. Thinking about how other people mark that milestone. Uh, I'm not nervous about being 40. I don't feel like I'm 40. I don't feel like I'm that adult enough yet for that to happen. But, um, and Brandon keeps rubbing it in that he has a few more years than that. The fact that I married somebody younger than me, I'm still not sure how that happened but decided that um, I needed to figure out what that meant for my stitching. And it, it was going to kind of formulate how I was going to proceed until that event happens. So a year and a half. It's not like it's tomorrow. It's not like it's even this year. Um, so I've been having some things go through my head. So A, if you follow me on Instagram, you've heard about some of this. Um, I don't know why I said A, though, because I don't think I have a B. Um... But like, you know, so, so I was going through a lot of people will do 40 starts for their 40th or they'll pick the, the milestone and they'll match the number. Well, when you regularly start 31 at any given time, 40 doesn't seem like that great big feat. Um, so there's that kind of been playing in my head. And then um, I really like the idea of connecting my stitching to things. And so I was going through and I was like, could I do something for every year that I was born? Like, like try to tie a stitching project to a movie that was released maybe that year. That one's gotten Brandon pretty interested. And so that might be something that we're doing. Um, and so then I'm getting like really excited about my 40th birthday. And then I keep thinking, okay, I still have like a year and a half. So that's a long time to have to plan and wait to do these things. So then I started looking at like what whips I have and what I'm, I'm doing and, and what is around me now. And I decided, I think a good challenge for me and that one that might keep me focused and not biting off more than I can chew to continue to start everything and not see finishes is to try to whittle my whip pile down to 40 whips before I'm 40. So I'm currently sitting, I believe I'm sitting at 94 right now. Is it 96 when this all kind of started and I have had a couple finishes. Um, so I'm pretty sure if I've done the math right and my spreadsheet is accurate, I have 94 whips that will need to be finished before my 40th birthday. Uh, August 22nd was when I threw this out on Instagram because my birthday is February 22nd. So August 22nd, 20, gives me a year and a half until February 22nd, 2022. 
So yeah, my birthday has a lot of twos in it this that that year. That's kind of fun. Um, so that's my goal is I'm going to try to get this whip pile down to 40. And I figure there's a couple things with this. A, it means I can still start things because if I decide that I think it can be added to the, the list of conquering or, or whatnot, um, I keep doing the A thing, don't I? Um, but B, it just doesn't limit me to working on a certain project. Um, I'm hoping that what it's going to do is, is make me really, um, look at what I'm going to want to start, um, and be mindful of that because my, my piles had somebody comment and asked the other day if I could share how, why I pick what I pick to stitch. And, and I have a lot of diversity, I think, in the things I stitch, but I've started some things that, that maybe aren't typical to me, um, that I've kind of been like, do I, do I continue with it or do I let it go? Right now, there aren't any that I'm planning to let go. I'm pretty content with all the projects I have. Um, and I'm just, I'm going to see what I can finish. What I figure I'm going to do today, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to start showing you cross stitch. What I've done is I have every single cross stitch piece, all 96 of them surrounding me. I have three stacks right over here and I have a couple stacks over there that I'll go and get um, as we go. I have them in order and I know I did a whip parade finish parade um, in January so some of them I've touched some of them have not been touched since then um, but I did I did a poll on Instagram and I was like do you guys want to see this now do you want to wait till the first of the year and it was a resounding show us all your whips Jen so I figure let's just do it it gives me kind of that marker of where I was a year and a half out so even if I don't get down to 40 I can see what progress I made um, I, I took everything out of my project bags. Um, you'll see behind me, this is kind of my organization system. So I have stuff, some of them have labels on them still. Some I've, I have to relabel because um, things got resituated. But everything is out of project bags. I have the pattern pictures and I have the, the fabric that with the stitching on it to show you. I have a list that tells what fabric it's on and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the projects. Um, I'm going to try to get that list posted in the notes so you can see what I have. Um, and yeah, let's just dive into what I have. And I'm going to kind of, as I'm going, talk about if I think it's feasible for a finish or if it's going to be one that's going to get focus. I have a lot of big projects started. And my hesitation is I don't want those to just sit for the next year and a half and not get any love if I'm like, oh, yeah, there's no way that can get finished because I do still want them to come out. So I did some math and I'm not the strongest with math. My parents used to call me Mallory from Family Ties because uh, I'm a little bit of an airhead when it comes to that. Um, but I think if, if, I, if I focus, it's about three and a half finishes a month between now and my birthday to get me under 40. That's, you know, if I'm not starting a bajillion things. It's going to limit my madness. I think maybe I'll pick one piece or I'll do a monogamous madness like people do for Mania. Um, but I do, I mean, the other thing is, you know, so I said I didn't want to start 40 things because that doesn't seem like a crazy feat. My, my second thought was, so for my 40th, you know, once I actually get to that point, what I could do is I could start 82 because I was born in 1982 and then it would be that seems like a more gen sort of number of craziness so either that or let myself go back up to 82 whips I don't know we'll see um, I'm not worried about that right now right now the challenge that I have set for myself is to get under 40 whips by my 40th birthday, which gives me a little less than a year and a half, but I finished two since I set the goal for myself, so there's that. Let's start with my oldest whip. I started this whip, I don't have a date that I started it. This is the only undated whip in my pile. I was unorganized before this. This is Joy X Noel. I never say that first word right because I read do not read phonetically and I do not speak French. So I started this, it was from a Cross Stitcher Magazine, I will figure out the year, um, and I, I love it, and I started it to do it as the banner pull, like it is in the picture, but I've decided I am only going to stitch the Noel portion, and I'm just going to finish it as like a 
well, my mom's going to finish it as a pillow um, to go. So I have a bin to throw these in as I'm going so they hopefully don't get too disorganized because I have all the project bags and an order to put them away. I have worked on this some this year. This is on just, it's a huge piece of fabric because like I said, it was going to go on the, um, the banner pool. I have all of the N, the O is done, but there is like crazy back stitching that needs to be done on it. Um, the E, I have some fill in. There's a lot of like uh, three quarter stitches and then I have to do the L. I think this one is feasible and I would like to get it knocked out because it is my oldest. It's one that is maybe not my style anymore. Um, you know, that's the thing is when you start a whole bunch of things, you start them based on the style that you're stitching when you start them. And, and then if you don't finish them at that point, your style sometimes changes. So that one has changed a bit. But I, I went to like throw it away and be like, no, I'm not going to do this. And I, I really do like it. And I used to do this thing with my name where I would do it in bubble letters and then I would color it like those letters are. So it, it feels like a me thing. Um, so I do think I want it to be done. So that was my oldest whip. And like I said, I would like that one to be knocked out just because it's my oldest and get past that. I do not have coffee around me because I don't trust myself. I keep getting all these people. Uh, my new thing on Instagram is I post my coffee in the morning, my pick, my um, stitching in the morning with my cup of coffee and I try to tie my mug in. I'm all, half my mugs are still in storage that I have to get out from the move because I don't know where I'm putting them in my kitchen. Um, but I, I get so many people that are like, you are so, are you careful with that, that mug of coffee? I, I promise you, I am super careful. Like I, <laughs> or like if I post my wine with my stitching, it's like, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm, I promise. I, I am assured that it is not going to spill. So when I did this, I decided that I was going to film before I, I stitched on anything. So you would see the exact progress of where I was at a year and a half out. And then I finished the project I was working on and I was like, oh, I, I, I don't have time to film yet because, you know, adjusting to Brandon's new work schedule and, and doing this with the animals around, I was just not sure how it would work. Um, so, <laughs> so I was like, oh, does that mean I have to start something new? Cause I finished what I was working on and I won't be able to show them where I was at the exact year and a half. And I was like, Jen, nobody cares about this but you. So I ended up working on something else that I finished and then I've pulled this piece out because his eyes on the sparrow, I started um, December 2nd of 2017. And my mom and I were doing it as a stitch along. She has finished hers. I actually picked it up from Craft Gallery yesterday framed. It is beautiful. Um, this is like the piece that I was clinging to when we were going to buy this house and everything was kind of up in the air with um, our loan. So I, I really want this finished and I really want it because I, I've envisioned it over my sofa. Um, however, I am a little scared of my cats and their claws and mm, they better not claw this one. Um, but I pulled it out and I've been working on it for the past three or four days. I think this is day four. Say the 30th. Yeah. So I have until the end of the month to work on it before I put it away. And this one, it's a biggie. And I had hoped to finish it this year. I am still hoping to finish it this year. And I, I think I can. So it's going to be out quite a bit. Um, I'm, I'm just about at the halfway point. I haven't done the house color because I do believe I'm changing it. I know Michelle uh, Koziag, I think she used Mulberry. I'm thinking I'm going to use Country Redwood. Um... My house is brick and I feel like the redwood may translate well to like a brick simulation. Um, but the color that it's charted in is going to be too close to my fabric color. I'm stitching this on 36 count lakeside linen buttercream uh, with the called for Gast and Weeks threads. And I love it. Um, my mom did hers on 40 count and she did it with um, the DMC. So it's been fun to see the difference. So I, I've been working on it. Like I said, this past week I did the tree and um, I mostly worked like down in this section. So I'm hoping I might be able to get the total tree done, but my mom did that. We were talking about how differently we stitch because she did the whole outline of the tree and like all the branches and stuff. And I'm doing the apples first and, and uh, we just mark our stitching very, very differently. So 
I have loved this piece. And like I said, the sentiment was very meaningful for me when we were um, going to to buy this house. Uh, so I, I believe that's one that I a would like to it will definitely be finished before I'm 40. I would like it finished before the end of the year because I would like it to be framed and hanging in my house. We'll see. That's two that I think I can finish. Map of Hawkrun Hollow. This was my first start for my first go at madness. I started this March 1st, 2018, which was my first year of madness. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do my mania during March and I did um, 31 projects, 31 new starts. Um, I did it in 2018 and 2019. This past year I did like a half version. And I do um, 31 new starts, 31 different designers um, throughout the month. So that's how I do it and um, probably won't be happening that way this year, but um, it might be big the year of 2022. So uh, Map of Hawkrun Hollow. This is where it's kind of funny when you, you learn about your stitching style. I think I've showed this recently. I have worked on it some this year. Um, a, I, I'm doing this on 32 count light mocha which is not a fabric that I typically stitch on. I think I have one other project that is on that right now. Um, B, I'm doing it with a DMC, which I've definitely shifted away from DMC. Uh, I, I don't stitch a lot on 32 count. I typically do most of my stitching on 36 or 40 or smaller. And I was predominantly 40 or smaller. And then recently I've been loving 36. So I don't know what happened with that. Um, so this is where I am on him. I think I've mentioned before, I think I will probably coffee dye this when it's finished. Um, this is one I think I can finish too. There's still a lot of stitching, but it's it's one that once I get going on it, it should be. And it's a lot of fill in, so I think it'll be done. I tried to, I, I do organize my stitching by size categories as well. Um, so I, I use the Stitch From Stash formula. So what I do is I take the dimensions, the stitch count, I add them together and then I divide by two. Um, and if it comes up under 50, it's a mini. If it comes up between 50 and 99, it's a small. If it comes up between 100 and 149, it's a medium. If it comes up between 150 and 200, it's a, or 250, it's a large and, or 249. And then if it's 250 or larger, it's a big ass project. So this, this is my smallest of my big ass projects. Um, I think I can get it done and I'd like to have it done. I, I try not to do a whole lot of stitching from the same series at the same time. It's another thing I, I am very cognizant of. And I've kind of, because I've gotten so many starts lately, strayed away from that. And it's something I, I'd like to get back to. So I have several other Hawk runs going right now. So I'd like to get it back down to like one or maybe two that's a story too. So this was also a madness start. This started on the 4th of March, 2018, and I'm doing as the crow flies. Um, it's another one where you just see how my stitching style has just changed a bit and probably why it's not finished. I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count lamb's wool. Again, 32, two strands is not my thing. I typically do 36 or up with one strand. Um, but I love this one and I really do want it to be finished. I did see it. Who was it? Was it Amy? She did this one with like over dyes and on this beautiful fabric. And I was a little jealous because it, I just have changed a lot. I don't do a lot on just the standard lamb's wool anymore. So um, it's one, again, this is a medium size. I think I can get it finished. So another madness start, um, March 5th, 2018, Great Pumpkin Conspiracy. This is not on my focus list. Uh, I love this one and it would be great if it gets some love, but I, I'm not going to kill myself about it. There's a lot more stitches in it than I thought. I'm doing this with the DMC and I'm doing it on a piece of 40 count Luna by Lakeside Linens. And my pumpkin looks like an Easter egg. I think it's been stitched on maybe once or twice this year. Um, it's one that I'm hoping if I do like devote time to things that it will get a little bit more love and it will fall a little bit more. I'll fall a little more in love with it. Something like that. Um, March year, um, hands on designs, year in chalk. This was started on the 6th of March, 2018. And I started it on week Dye works with the called for, and I was not enjoying it. I was doing individual stitches. I feel like my stitches are messy. I was not happy with it. 
So this year I did restart it and I restarted it on uh, 18 count black Ada, um, which again, not my typical, but I am much happier with how the stitches are laying. So I am going to be finishing this one. There's not that much in this. And especially with it being on Ada on fabric that I don't mind stitching on, there's no reason that I can't get it done. This one I love, and it's one that I am not figuring will, I'm not going to kill myself to get it done, but it's one that I definitely want up in my house at some point. That blue house in the corner down there, I just love in his red belly. Um, this is Feather Your Nest by With Thy Needle. Uh, started this March 12th, 2018. I am doing this on 36 Count Maritime White by Lakeside Linens with the DMC. He's gotten some love and I enjoy him and I like stitching on him as like every time I have him out. Um, we'll see. I mean, again, I don't want the ones that I don't figure I'm like I'm going to finish necessarily to not get any love, but um, we'll see. this is uh, Not Forgotten Farm Skeleton Keys. There's no reason that this one isn't done. I really, the next time it gets out, it's going to get finished. Um, this is also on 36 count maritime white. When I do madness, I typically will take a piece of fabric and see how many of the projects I can fit onto it because I like to be as um, frugal and conserving of my fabric as much as I can. I am doing this with DMC. Um, there's a lot of counting and I think the stitching on the light fabric is why I just don't gravitate to it. And um, I love it though. Yeah, it'll get finished the next time it's out. I did not iron everything. I typically will iron them before I start working on them again. Um, like I said, I, I do have kind of a little size-based rotation that I've been playing with. Um, so like I said, everything's in those size categories. Um, if it's a mini, I'll stitch on it for a day. Typically that'll get me a finish. A small, two days before it goes away. Most times that's a finish too. Uh, medium three, large four, big ass five. And that, that way I'm seeing significant progress on something. Um, I was finding like by doing, I'm not counting stitches anymore. That's another thing that's happened. Um, and it's actually, I think, changed the way that I stitch, which has been nice. We're here to do a whip parade though. So maybe I'll talk about that stuff later. This is another one that I just feel like my stitching style has shifted quite a bit since I started it. Um, this one was started because I am a series serial starter. I like to have all of a series done. Um, and I love Halloween and winter of this series. So I felt like I had to stitch spring and summer. I have finished all the other three. Um, this, this will get finished because I want it out of my pile. Um, this is 32 count doubloon. 32 count legacy by picture this plus DMC and the colors and stuff don't scream Jen but I figure there's like you know I they can all be in that I did them all on like 32 count the same and they're the same dimensions so the same frame can pop in and out with them and um yeah. cool tide welcome by Plum Street stitching this on 36 count sand dune by Lakeside not one that I'm going to pull, like, figure has to be a finish just because it's so stitch heavy. But um, I do want it finished sooner rather than later because I have um, the Christmas one and the patriotic one of the series that I would like to stitch as well. Pretty much I just want to stitch everything. Okay, so that's all my ones from Madness 2018. Now we're moving on to that um, 24 hours that I started, all of the things that I thought I was going to be able to finish. I only have three left from that time that I have not finished. Um, this one I will get done before this year, or before I turn 40, because I want it out of my whip. It is um, Spot of Autumn by Drawn Thread. Uh, it has a lot of specialty stitches, and I think I need to pull some threads so I have not pulled it back out I'm stitching this on 32 count summer khaki um, and it just it didn't speak to me as I was doing it probably because of those specialty stitches which most of the time I sub in for regular X's so I just need to figure out what I'm doing with it and get it done there's some charms on it and I don't know if I'm gonna use them or if I'm I think what I did was it 
I was called to stitch on a smaller count, so I don't think the charms are going to fit on it. Um, not one that I love. It's Which is Kitchen by Primitive Hair. This is a freebie. Um, I was doing this on Havana by Weeks Dye Works, which if you've watched my Prairie Schooler video, I have a new love for. But this one, because it's so open, I've struggled a bit. This one will get done. It's just, I'm going to finish it. It is charted in a couple colors, but I'm doing it monochromatic. 35 count Havana by Weeks Dye Works that is actually nowhere near 35 count. It's more like, it's smaller than that. I don't know why. Golden Rule by the Stitcher Hood. This one, I'm not going to force myself to get it done because I'm doing it over one. So I'm doing this on a piece of black jobelin, I believe, um, over one. And eventually, I'd like it to come out. I'd like to play with it again, but um, we'll see. It'll get finished sometime. It's the only thing I have in a hoop everything else. Oh, one pile done, guys. Only five more to go. Nope, I'm pulling the wrong. No, I'm pulling. No, I'm not. What's next? Yeah, this pile. I almost went out of order, and what would we have done then? Barbara Anna, All Creatures Great and Small. I started this for Madness 2019. 2019 Madness, I decided to start really big projects and I am bearing the brunt of those things not getting done. This is not one that I'm going to stress about getting finished. Um, I enjoy it. I don't, the fabric has not called to me and I, it's, I, it's sand dune. It's, I think it's vintage sand dune by, um, Lakeside. Yeah. 40 count or it's the colors. I don't know why I'm not gravitating towards it. I need to, I need to give it some love and actually stitch on it again did change the barn color. It's very pink. I think it's charted in anchor, but I subbed the DMC. I see people that have it finished and I'm like, I want that done. Um, Birds of a Feather by Blackbird. This is one I think I can get finished. I don't have it highlighted on my list though, so maybe I don't. I think I can get finished though. Um, doing this with the DMC on a piece of 40 count natural. The only thing that intimidates me with that one is the backstitch. I don't like circular backstitching. It's that O and that Noel one too. Um, Dead Man's Chess by Plum Street Sampler. I am not figuring this one will get finished. This one, if you stitch it on 32 count, it is the right size to do as a, if you frame it and put glass on it, you can use it as a playable chessboard. So um, that's why I did it on 32 count. I'm doing 32 count pearled barley, I believe. Double checking. Dead man. Oh, 32 gig was called for pearled barley and I subbed in exemplar. Um, it is full coverage throughout. So there's a lot of over one. I'm going to be changing some of the colors. So I've um, held off on doing any fill in on this until I decide what kind of color scheme I want. Um, I The DMC isn't nearly as muted as it's charted. So I think something has to switch with that. Weeping Tree by The City Stitcher. This one I started for Madness. I started it um, March 6, 2019. And it is um, the other piece that I'm doing on that light mocha that I'm doing uh, Map of Hawk Run Hollow on. And uh, I've only stitched on it the once. There's a lot of specialty stitches in this, so I think I haven't been gravitated between that and the, the fabric choice. But... Um, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to kill myself to get a finish on this one, but I I like it and I would like to stitch it. Penny Harvest by Tree of Life. This is another series that I have a bunch of. I really like the Halloween one, but I won't let myself start that one till this one's done. So um, this I am stitching on 36 count navy bean. This one will be finished. Um, I love it. I'm using the DMC except for, I think, Tobacco Road or Tobacco. 
there's one one week's die works that I'm stitching with it. Molly by Carriage House. These girls, I love them. And I've stitched Elizabeth. Um, my Molly really looks like Wednesday Adams. I, 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 I want all of the girls done. I have all four of them. Thanks to, I think Cindy C sent me one. Um, but doing them on a fabric I don't love, so I'm not gravitating to it. Um, it's 32 count lamb's wool. Uh, I was just talking to my mom the other day. I was like, do I want to restart them and do them on something else? But I don't think I do. I think I just need to plug through. I did change her hair color because it was kind of gray. And I made her look more like Wednesday Adams. So. I, it's very stitch heavy. Elizabeth is very stitch heavy too. So I don't know that that one will get done. I'd like it to get pulled out some more. This one will not get done probably ever in my lifetime. Serenity Harbor by By the Bay. Um, I have worked on it this year though. And I do love it. So I'm hoping it will come out. I just don't, I'm not going to kill myself for a finish. I'm stitching this on 40 count lambswool with DMC. And I love it. And I'm so happy to be in the full coverage section. I love how the stitches lay on the lambs. Well, it's an odd choice for me um, of fabric, but it's an odd choice for pattern. I still don't know why that one calls to me as much as it does, but it does. Bump in the Night by Prairie Schooler. This one I am hoping to be have a finish on. Stitching this on 32 count dark cobblestone. This will get done. Jenny Bean's Friendship Sampler. We're still in Madness 2019 right now. This one I stitching, I started it and I, I ended up, it was a piece of 32 count that was mislabeled and I thought it was 36 and it was gonna be huge. So I restarted it on a piece of 36 count, Malo, something like that by Picture This Plus. Not figuring it will actually be finished by my 40th, but it's one that I would like to have done. Again, I'm not starting any other Jenny Bean stuff until it's done. Quaker Diamond by Hillside Samplings. This one will be finished. I have not pulled it out again because I made mistakes. I just have the alphabet to do when it's over one. I made mistakes on placement um, or the size of the alphabet or something. So I have to tear it out and because it's over one, it's a pain in the butt to tear out. So I just haven't sat down to do that yet. It is um, 36 count pair by Lakeside. I will get it finished. I plan to get it finished. Can't lock myself into anything. Irish Blessings by Twisted Threads. This is um, also on a piece of 40 count vintage sanding. Like I said, I try to make the most of my pieces of fabric. I buy big and then cut down to size. I think I can get this one done. There's not. It's just the, the wordings. I'm doing a thread conversion. Just pulled some threads. I'm going to fill my bucket that I have sitting here. Home is by Poppy Creations with the creepiest baby in a basket picture that I've ever seen. This is 40 count Confederate gray. Um, I want this one done, if nothing else, to give me the threads to use for other projects. It's another reason why I really want to get some stuff done is so I can have a better idea of what threads I have in my stash. Um, I, it does say, it says, um, home is where your story begins, live simply. When I did this, I somehow did it on like live awkward day or something. So I'm going to change it to live awkwardly, but I don't remember what my plans were for changing it. So I have to go back through my history and find out. Uh, Crow's Lullaby by Primitive Hair. This is one that I am planning to get a finish on. This is on 32 Count Fog by Picture This Plus. I read a couple books the year that I started this and they had this poem in it. So... Um, and I have a bunch of like Edgar Allan Poe stuff and just crows. So I want kind of like a crow wall. So I'd like that one done. This one is not getting finished. And a forest screw. 
by Rosewood Manor. Stitching this on 36 count flax. Just have that much done. It's just so much thread in it. It's so overwhelming when you pull it out. Um, eventually it'll get done. And I, I'm going to change the verse in the middle and I don't know what I want it to say. Probably some other Bible verse, but I don't think that one. Sir William Black by Scattered Seed. I did his Miss Isabel Black or Isabella, whatever it is. Uh, so I'd like him finished. I am planning to get him done. 40 Count Legacy by Picture This Plus. Still in Madness 2019. Uh, get Kraken by Ink Circles. This is also on 40 Count Vintage Sand Dune. Yep. This one I think I can get finished. Doing it with the DMC. There's still a bit to stitch on it, but again, it's one that it's a large size, I think. Yeah, I think I can get that done. On the fourth day of Christmas by Prairie Moon. I would like this done because I'd like to have our stockings, but it's probably not going to get a whole lot of focus. Have to do it on 28 count, so it's the size of the stocking. This is Brandon's stocking. I forget which day is going to be mine. Um, but his has trains in it. And they always used to get the, the Hallmark train, so I did that. I don't... I'm just using DMC and I probably should have done the overdyed, but I don't like stitching with overdyed threads on when I have to use two straights. So that's that story. Numero No by Jeanette Douglas. Do I, have this I don't have this one as one that I am focusing on a finish. I think it will probably be able to get done. I'm stitching this on 40 count Wren by Picture This Plus. I'm using the called for gassed or weeks or whatever fancy floss there's a lot of over one in it and i think that's one of the reasons why i have not gotten it done but i don't know what it is about this one that i love i love typography and just numbers and there's keys still in madness 2019 coffee bean sampler by heartstring sampler this one is one that will be finished but i have some changes that i'm making to it so i have to do some charting um it's all done except for the personalization i just need but in the pattern you see she has beth did her name here uh there and then she also did her like b twist there <laughs> jay lee just doesn't I, it reminds me of work every work email i have is jay lee um, so I, I found a coffee quote that I'm going to chart for down here and then I'll do my name up here and I didn't pull what the quote is, but you'll find out when I stitch it. So, um, something I, I did find a quote that I'm going to do. So that just has to be recharted or charted out and done. That'll get done. Life after death by long dog. One that I would love to have out, but I'm not going to force myself to figure it's going to get finished. Um, this is on um, 40 Count Days Gone By by Silk Weaver, and I'm using Storm Clouds with it. Except I believe the whale I'm going to stitch with um, a gray, just so he pops. I love this piece. Love, 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 love everything about it. So I hope I get to stitch on it some, but I'm not figuring it's one that will have to be finished by then. That takes me to the end of Madness 2019. Yay. This was a 24 hour start. I go back and forth because I'm doing it on 35 count Confederate gray and I don't love it. Um, I'm using two strands of DMC and the DMC conversion isn't my favorite. And um, uh, the fabric is not my favorite and the two strands is not my favorite. So every time I talk about it, I say I'm going to start it over. And um, I'm doing it kind of like Vanna's Calendar Girls where um, I, I envision them all as separate finishes instead of being one big piece. So um, yeah. I was all set to throw this away and start it again, but then I pull it out and I think I, I think I can do it. So this is where I am on the January block and I'll look at it and be like, it doesn't look that bad. February block, I cut the squares a little tight mom says it's okay 
March, April, May. I started this during a 24 hours and did like two hours on it. And so that's why they're all like randomly sporadically started. June. I was fading at this point, July. <laughs> August was completely different colors than I felt like it should be. So I got very frustrated and started working on something else. And then I skipped to October. And then the rest, I just have like the corners in. So um, I'm not gonna kill myself to work on it, but I'm still, Every time I do this, not at the point where I'm like, I'm going to restart yet or I'm going to abandon and completely not do it. So autumn on Lazy Bear Mountain. It kills me that everybody is using my conversion and they're going to finish this before me because this is not one that I'm going to focus on getting finished. Um, I love seeing that. That doesn't really kill me. I love seeing people stitching it. Um, if you want my conversion, um, I actually linked it in my um, Instagram link tree <laughs> because there were so many people that were emailing me and I was getting behind. So um, if you want it, it is in my link tree on Instagram. Um, I just did, full disclosure, did a conversion to Gast. I pulled all the NPIs and then kind of matched them up as best as I can. I do believe I swapped the two yellows that are listed there, but I don't think I edit it on the document so tweak as you go um, I certainly am uh, I pulled this out last month and stitched for five days and loved it I got that whole tree down on the bottom done um, so and then I've toyed with I don't know if how if I want to personalize it so I was talking to my mom and it's like you know the only people I have that really have passed are my grandparents and so I could, you know, personalize with their names and then do their, their marriage year up at the top. But it's not like it's a piece that reminds me of my grandparents. So I don't know that I really want that. I could just pick random ancestry names. Um, I don't have a strong, I don't know. I, I have not. And then my mom was like, you could do your cats. You could do Panda Money and Mayhem. I don't I, I just have, not or if I'm just going to stitch it as is. Thoughts? would love to hear them 36 count autumn gold by lakeside love 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 everything about this conversion on my link tree if you email me about it i will try my best but i am behind that was a madness start that i restarted because i started it with the dmc on a fabric i didn't like and then did the conversion on a fabric i did like christmas cubes primitive hair also on 36 count Autumn gold. These are all individual. This will get finished. C. H. I will try to get this finished. I need to say things like that. R. I. This was another, this was mania where I started all the 50 things. S. I always want to turn this one upside down. T. M. You see I have a lot more done at the beginning than I do at the end. A. S. Yeah, I would like these to be finished. Um, when I did that mania, I did 50 smalls in um, 50 things under 50 for mania. Um, we had a reason that we did 50. I don't remember, Allison, what was that reason? Um, but they counted as individual starts. So um, that was what, nine? Um, now it's just one project. This one I don't have a picture of because it was from a magazine and I don't have that queued up to show you. It is a an ornament by Casey Bergiorno or something. It's peppermint latte. This is just junk over here. Um, peppermint latte. She did, she does a bunch. She, she designed, I, I've done Irish cream sampler by her. Um, she has like some hot chocolatey ones. So I want this one done. This will get finished. It's on a 32 count piece of scrap. Sorry, I don't have a picture. Savior's Praise by Shakespeare's Peddler. Not one that I'm figuring is going to get finished. I'm stitching this on 40 count 
cedar plank. One that I would like to get some love on it though. Stitched on it some this year, I think. I've had people ask me why I, why I do so many starts. For me, um, I don't love starting things. It's stressful and you have to find the right spot. And I mean, I love having projects started, but um, so so when I do a mass start and, and I do that, I, I, I figure what it's doing is it's giving me my starting point so that it's easier to pull it out when I wanna just stitch. And that's why I do it the way I do. Um, there's all sorts of, you, you gotta stitch how you stitch. You know, it. I go back and forth with being super stressed about how many projects I have going. Um, I do think I make significant progress and if I wasn't seeing any finishes, I think I would be completely out of doing it this way. Um, I'm over 20 finishes this year and I feel like I've been super distracted, so. Uh, I don't have a picture of this one either. It was another ornament. This is Winter Squirrel by Victoria Sampler. Just have a little tiny bit left on him. Uh, and I think it was just I didn't have the color with me. I'm doing this on 36 count dove by Weeks, Weeks Stackers. I'll get that one done. Just a matter of pulling it out again. This one is the Blue Snowman. I just have the copy picture from the magazine. Um, it is by The Little Stitcher. 35 count mink by r and r i'll get this one done i don't have much going on it yet but it will get finished this is the other big ass project that i really want done peacock unicorn and a badger it will get done i would like this one to be done i would have liked it to be done this year that's not gonna happen I love it. I haven't decided how I'm doing the water. They're designed with satin stitch. I don't know. I might just do X's. I'm leaving it to the end to the side. This was another one that I was like, do I really want to stitch this? Um, it called to me when it first came out because it was so different. Um, but I'm not to the point where I want to like abandon it and completely take it out of my whip rotation. So um, the Mysterious Adventure Project by Ink Circles. Brandon and I have done some like D&D &D adventuring uh, through our life. I'm basically the person that just caters the D&D &D events and then does what they tell me when I roll things. But um, <laughs> it speaks to our nature and I can see it hanging in our basement. So um, 40 count, 40 count? 40 count wren or parchment. Wren, one of those. Just have very little done. Um, what it is, if you haven't heard about it, is she released it in a segment, so it was kind of like a mystery, and it's a kind of like a choose your own adventure, which I loved as a child. Um, so you roll a dice and you get to kind of pick your placement and pick what things you're gonna do. So I, um, I thought it was really unique and a very different way, and then everybody started finishing theirs and I did not. Let freedom ring. You see flyers, Philly. That's why I love this one. I'm a Philly girl. Not figuring it's going to get finished this year. I'm not stitching the um, scrolly banner thing up top. This is on 40 count pecan butter by Lakeside. Love it. It lives in my gritty bag. Gritty is the flyers ma mascot. Nitty gritty Philly Sal. It's my favorite thing to come out of Philadelphia since probably my family. Cardinal points. I would like this one to be done. It's kind of my back burner. I would like it finished. This is on 40 count star flower. I am using my grandmother's threads. So um, I found a box of her. She, she wasn't like a crafty person, but uh, she did some embroidery and needlepoint. So I found her threads after she died and um, the colors going down the side are hers. So uh, I'm doing like, I did a green conversion for everything else. So I have all the, all of my greens are tied up in this project right now. Um, and I haven't decided what I'm doing for the inside, if it's going to be matching my things. It, it'll depend, I'll have to play with the pattern a bit. I would like this done. Um, yeah. 
That was three piles, guys. Three of them. So now I have to go and I have to get my other piles. So um, I'm going to do that right now. I will be back and um, Brandon will splice this part out. Okay, I'm back. I uh, had to get another box to put all of these in as well. <coughs> that has taken me through... I stopped saying the dates of when I started things. Um, but I am now to my October starts from last year. I decided to do 31 Halloween things. I didn't start 31 Halloween things, but I used whatever I had and then I filled in with new starts. So that's where we're at with this. It was during a 24 hour event. So let's see. Halloweenies by Plum Street. Watson is a Docs and Corgi mix, so I would like this whole series done. I'm doing this small. I saw it at Crafty U done over one, and I decided instead of doing it over one, I would do it on a small count. So this is on 52 count exemplar by Lakeside Linens. I only stitched on it for that little bit. Not one that I'm gonna kill myself to be finished just because the 52 count is a little bit more of a like a mental thing for me. Um, I'd like it done eventually, we'll see. Jack's Bash Plum Street also doing this on 46 count. I've only stitched on it I think once. Um, I don't know how I think it goes like that. Properly Primitive by um, Under the Sea. Love the fabric, love everything about it. Not one that I'm going to say I have to get done, but I want it done, so... So it's a thing with doing this is like every single piece that I have I, I, I enjoy and I love and I I completely understand being a monogamous stitcher I totally get it I was for a really long time for me though there are so many things that I want to stitch I mean god I have patterns just surrounding me in this room um that I know are not going to be able to happen during my lifetime that this way even if I have them started they're at least getting some attention from me so It's how I stitch. Stitch how you want, you know. Um, Booty you. I stitched the cat and I started the owl. And I have, I will eventually do all of them. I have the fabric, will, they'll all be on the 35 count mink by r, &R. Um, This is where I am on the owl. I figure he'll get done. But I'm not going to kill myself about getting the rest of them done. Witch Witch by Lottie Da. I think this one will get finished. It's kind of on my back burner finishes. Um, I think there's a lot more than I'm, I, I, I don't believe that what I have marked on here is actually enough to be done, but um, to get me under 40. But again, once I did the math and saw that it was only like three and a half a month, I'm not nearly as worried about it. Um, this I'm doing, a, I think I'm just using like Onyx by Weeks Dye Works Thread, and this is on, um, Christmas in Williamsburg, 40 count by Under the Sea. I would like it finished. But it's again, it's kind of that back burner one. Raven Bewitched by Blackbird. I think this one can get done too. This is on 40 count Flagstone by Lakeside. I love this. Love the colors. I would like to switch on it. This was one that I was kind of like, do I do I want to abandon? But I, you know, it, so it sits in a bag and it gets love occasionally. It's only worked on it once or twice. Um, picture this plus thirty six count ale, and I'm using tin bucket. Started this Emily and Diana started it during one of the twenty four hours. Uh, the wild ass sal doesn't scream at Jen, but I love a quirky hashtag. It was a freebie, so. The only thing that it's doing is it's tying up fabric if, and thread, but I keep using Tin Bucket for everything else. So. Um, Halloween Medley by Heart and Hand. I would like this one finished. It can get done. This is on a 32 count Legacy, or 32 count. Picture this plus Legacy. Yeah. Um, doing the called for threads, I believe. Maybe stash diving for some of them. I stitched 
fall and winter of the series too, but I did them very, very close together. So uh, Paula doesn't think we can frame them at Craft Gallery. My mom thinks we can. I don't know what's going to happen. That was a very long time ago. Um, this was another one. I'm going to try not to show you the pattern, but I kind of already did. It's hard when they're in magazines. Um, Fireburn Cauldron Bubble. Uh, ink Circles. I think I can get this one done. But it's not highlighted. But I think I can get done. I am using a piece of um, Laura dyed this. Laura Slo Slavic, Slovak, Slavic. I always say it wrong every time. Farms. Uh, she, she does dyeing. You should check out her fabrics. Um, I think it's perfect for this. I like monochromatic pieces occasionally. I'm using two threads, so it doesn't always call me. House of Jack built. Pam just finished this. I love hers. Um, I am going to, I would like it done. And so I'm on 35 count Tiger Eyes by Weeks. It's very bright in this lighting. It's not quite as bright in real life. Um, I'm going to tear out the color though, and I'm going to do this monochromatic. So, uh, because it's with like a purple and a green and I just subbed in a purple and a green that I had and I don't love it on the orange. So, um, but yeah. Pam did hers like super fast and I feel like it looks a lot bigger than it is. Yeah. Hasn't gotten any love since I did it. This one will get finished. I should have finished it the other day when I was working on this. All Hollow Needles Queen. This is on 36 Count Heartland by Picture This Plus. My mom did um, the B one, and so she has this whole way that she can finish it with it all being on one piece. So these will be, the, the needle keep parts will be stitched upside down, and it can just get folded over. So, but I have almost everything done down here, just not the, um, there's a lot of like single stitches, and so I have to figure out how I'm stitching those. Um, if I'm going to learn how to do a pin stitch or what, uh, or if I think that I can carry the thread. So I just have the back stitching and some other stuff down there and then the needle things. This will get done. I would like this to get done. Stars Bright by Lindy Stitches. I'm stitching this on 36 count tarnish, I believe. I have all the granny squares done. I just did a stash conversion for the granny squares. Started filling in around them. I think it can get done. I am changing the quote says, we would be together and have our books and, a night, um, and at night be warm in our beds together with windows open and stars bright. It's a Hemingway quote, I believe. Um, but I'm going to change books to games because it fits Brandon and I a little better. I started this on our anniversary last year love to have it finished before then but maybe maybe I can get it done before our anniversary this year it's the end of October if I pull it out again Amos Fig Plum Street this one I did a conversion with I, I it'll get finished um the reason it's not yet is because counting the stitches was a pain and I put it off all the time because I didn't want to count them because down and you're skipping all over and you're changing threads and it was really hard. Um, I've noticed since stopping counting stitches, I stitch very differently. Um, before it was like, I, I would focus on like concentrated areas and I would, you know, be like, well, I can't go over there. And so I feel like a lot less limited with, um, like, oh, I need to finish this thread and I don't have to find a way to mark that I already counted these stitches. So I'm enjoying not counting. I feel like I'm stitching faster. Um, I was going through, you know, I, I, I think this sort of thing, like filming a video and showing um, the progress is how I'm going to have to mark that I'm working on things. I also really have this, this idea for a blog about it. Um, more for, for me because then I was like, I could do like a Facebook page and like just have the photo albums that show the progress, but uh, Facebook's gotten super glitchy, so I don't know. Um, thinking a blog page, but I have to relearn how to do that. Gotten old. Gonna be 40, guys. 
Be Ye Thankful by Crossside Cricket. My mom has this stitched and I've always loved it. I started it and um, I wasn't loving the fabric. I think it's what I'm doing here at Hawk Run On was what this was. Um, I feel like my stitches look really messy. I wasn't liking it. Just with all the jumping around in the house, it just wasn't. So I restarted it on a piece of 46 count raw. Um, so I'm going to be going with the smaller size and I think it's, I like to stitch things that my mom has stitched differently. Um, so it'll be a lot smaller than hers. Um, so I can see kind of how they're different. We're getting to, this is the last start from 2019. Um, so hibernation day. This one from 2019? Yes, this was 12 29 2019. I don't know why I started. I think it was a high tea. Um, hibernation day. I'm stitching this on 40 count meadow rue by Lakeside. I would like this one to be done, but I don't have it like highlighted or anything, so we'll see. It's one the more you stitch on, it goes fast. I've only stitched on it a few times. And now we're in my 2020 starts. This one will not get finished before I'm 40. Quaker Seasons of Friendship. I love it though. But I've only stitched on it once. Um, Diana started a sal about it and I absolutely love it. I'm stitching it on um, 40 count pecan butter by Lakeside and I'm using Otter Creek. I hope it gets love, but I'm not gonna kill myself to get it finished because that's a lot of stitches. This one I would like finished, and I'd like it finished before my birthday this year. This is Choose Your Own Motto Sampler. All I'm saying is that you've never seen me crying and eating tacos at the same time. I will be stitching that saying on it because that's what I love. 40 count star flower. I like side. I love this. I love everything about this. And I want it done because I want it in my kitchen because I don't know how to cook anymore. I used to cook a lot, and literally the only thing I know how to cook right now is tacos. Stitcher Sampler, Primitive Hair. These are my madness starts from this year. I don't know if I end up ever showing you guys all of these. Um, there is a mistake on this because it says my soul is feed with needle and thread, but she does have a correction for it uh, on a blog somewhere that I found. Um, this is on... 40 count cedar plank and I'm using garden gate. I don't know if that's what's called for, but it is I'm doing called for. I love that one. And I'd like it done up in my stitching sewing room. This one, I think I can get finished ink circles, three little kittens. This is on 36 count heartland by picture this place. Don't have much done on it, but this fabric goes, it stitches really smoothly. Coffee Quaker. Uh, this was, you know, I started this one in the series. Don't typically do that, but I had very little left on coffee bean sampler. So I felt like it was okay. They use a lot of the same colors. This is 30 or 40 count flagstone. Vintage flagstone called for colors. I'm not going to push myself. I mean, I, it, it'll get out. I don't, there's, it doesn't feel that big, but then I think it's bigger than I think it is. I love this one. Sampler keys, but it's not going to be one that I'm going to kill myself about. Um, this is on buttercream, 36 count buttercream. Lakeside. I've only stitched on it during madness last year, this year, this past year, whatever. My throat is sore, guys. May I buy All Through the Night? Um, may I, a small house and a large garden have? I ended up in my yard and I don't have a garden, but um, I may change garden to stash. Um, possibly. 32 count Echo by Picture This Plus. I'd like this one done. It'll free up a lot of thread colors. And I'm freeing them up for pandemic because um, mostly and to get 82 things that I want to do because I'm insane. Thanksgiving Sampler by Lone Elm. I love this one. I love those blue flowers. I'm not figuring it's going to get done. 
or it it may, but it's not one that is like on my top priority list. So I think what I did was I, when I highlighted, I went through with like top priority. These can absolutely be finished. Then I went back with the, okay, what am I going to focus on after those things are finished? And then I'll go after that and I'll, I'll decide. Um, this is on 36 count, nope, 40 count legacy by picture this place. Called Plum Covers. Plumberry, this one will get done. Bent Creek. I only have a little bit done on it. It is being stitched on, I keep losing my spot. 32 count fog by picture this place. Don't have much done, but it'll get finished. This one will get finished. This pattern is going to Macy. Marcy, Macy, I'm blanking right now. You've heard me talk about this pattern quite frequently, so I'm not gonna explain it again some piece of 32 i don't know what color it is i am using silk 32 count i'm only using one strand and i love 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 it i do i love this piece so much it took me a long time to find what fabric i wanted to stitch it on emily's house lindy stitches this is on my backup list. Like, yes, I'd like it to be finished, but I do know it is very stitch heavy. This is 36 count maple sugar by Lakeside. I love everything about it. I love the sentiment. I love Stephanie. I love Emily. Needlework press and A, B, C spool. Came as a kit. I have a little spool to do it on. This one will absolutely get finished, but it, um, it, it hurts my fingers, which is why I haven't done more than that. It'll get done. I just picked a red. Very generous stitching friend sent me this. Sunflower Farm. Love, love, love this piece. Um, I went out on a limb with my color choice for fabric, but I think I'm very happy with it. Um, doing it on... 35 count Kansas City Blend by R&R &R. and I do love it. I want this to be stitched on. I am not going to kill myself about it, but it is one that I definitely love and want done. With Thy Needle 2 Lila Studio. I love this piece so much. Hopefully it'll come out, but I think I made a mistake with a blue and I think I'm frogging. I'm not sure. 40 count exemplar by Lakeside. Not one that I figure I will finish. I'd like to get down to having like 12 big ass projects. I think I'm at 18 right now. This will get done. This will get done before 2020 because I put 2020 in on it. Um, this is on 40 count Wren. If I picture this plus, I don't have that much more to do. Uh, a lot of fill in the berries and then the over one, the birds. I was working on, I pulled this out recently, got the border on the bottom semi finished and I'm working on the mortar, which you can't even really see, but it needed to be done. Love it. Perfect for a COVID feeling. <sighs> I want this done. It's not going to happen. 36 count pair by Lakeside. Love everything about it. Stash threads. Pulling as I'm going. Deciding. Not buying anything for it except for the um, border color. I think it's 9.34. Love it. Cannot believe she gave that away for free. Halloween at Hawk Run. This will get finished because um, I'm doing a block a month with my friend Laura. This is on 40 count, properly primitive, purely primitive. I think by Silk Weaver. This block will be what I start. The one down here will be what I start in... Um, September 1st. 
doing a block a month, except I think our plan for October is to do the two witches and get them done in October. And I think for October, I'm going to try to just stitch Halloween. Maybe. Although if I want my anniversary one done, I have to do that in September. Rampant Cats just started this one with my kittens. This is on 40 Count Pearl Barley. I'm going to be redoing that angel up top. Uh, Emily did hers dark and sent me a picture and I was like, oh, I love that. So um, wasn't loving the color choice on this fabric anyway. So I'm going to tear that out and do that. Not figuring it will necessarily get finished. Um, so now we're to the Prairie Schooler Santas that I started recently. Um, I'm going to show them to you again. I did get a finish on one of them. There are ironically 18, which means if I get one done a month, it gets me them all finished before my 40th. I did get a finish on this one. This is the first one. I may just go in order of when I started them. So this is the um, 2013 Santa. And I did this on 40 count pure prim gray. Okay, so I'm gonna go through these quickly because um, you guys really just saw these. So this is the 85 Santa. That's where I am on him. This is the 2001 Santa pear tree on 36 count pear. This is going to be such a mess to put away. 93 Santa. I started all the odd years. My mom started the even ones. We're doing them for my Christmas tree that I want as a prairie school tree. Then they're all started and I don't have to worry. 97. I'm not going to tell you the fabric for these. I'll, I'll try to write it all in the description below. This one is the pineapple one. So it's this one. Got 89. There are some that I started that I haven't shown on film yet, so I'm getting to those, but it's just so I know where I was when I started. This one is, I'm finding it hard to find the years. Oh, 2019. This one's probably my favorite of the starts. 95, love it on that fabric. I was really nervous about it. 2017. This is the quilting one. Don't look at the pattern. To all good night. This was 2015. Okay, and that's where you were. I don't think I showed any more since there, so I'll, I'll slow down a little bit. Um, this was 2011. I don't have as much done with these. I don't have the colors down for these fabrics. I don't know why. Um, I have to look. I think this is pear. 87. This might be like a summer khaki or something. The knitting one, which is 2007. This is on Havana by Weeks Dye Works. Sorry for the straggly thread. This is 2003. I don't know what the color is. Maybe sand dune. And then this one I'm doing, it's 32 count, or 40 count legacy. It's the hockey. I decided to change it to flyers colors and then I'm going to, um, instead of this in the bag, I'm going to try to chart out a little mini gritty head. So it's orange and black and uh, very bright and completely not my 
typical go-to. Um, but I'm excited about that. Then this last one is this one with the cookies. Which I'm not done. So those are the Santas. Again, if I do one a month, they'll be done by 40. Um, I finished the other one, the, the first one I did in a couple days. So I think it can be done. Where is this one? Oh no. Why is it not here? Panic averted, I found it. Um, this is Quaker Bees by From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. I love her design so much. I started this for the Bees Please Sal that Donna Ray was doing. This one will get finished and I think it'll get finished this month. Um, the hum of the Bees is the voice of the garden. I love it. Um, doing this on 40 count. Is it pen? Yeah, 40 count Ren. My picture is plus. And then my last one was when I started. I started it the day I chopped my hair all off because uh, Becky, a designer for Lucy Beam, also buzzed her hair. It's just looking very uneven right here, and I don't know why. I think it's just bedhead, actually. But. Um, so she did this. Uh, she designed this, which I've had. I love it. And um, she was kind of my, oh, look, she shaved her head. I can do it. Um, I got to finish on this. And I just did um, my own conversion with stash colors. This is on 40 Count Vintage Sand Dune by Lakeside. I did make a mistake on this top border. Make sure you count carefully because i they're not all the same and I miss that. So I did amend the, how my border was going to go, but it gave me space to do my initials over here. So uh, I love it. I'm so excited. I want it hanging above my craft room door coming into this room. So those are my current whips. I think... I'm hopeful that I can get down to 40 before my 40th. Send me encouragement. Um, also send me somebody that can wax my eyebrows. Um, I have grandpa eyebrows, guys. So I, I think, I think it can happen. I'm not going to stress if it doesn't, but I feel like you put a goal out for yourself. It, it's a, you know... There's nothing wrong with putting goals out and trying to challenge yourself to to get things to a certain point. So that's that's my plan. Um, like I said, I'm still formulating what it means. This, these are my spreadsheets that I do. <laughs> um, still formulating what it means for after when I turn 40, but I think this will help me limit the starts I'm doing. I'm not committing to not starting anything new. You will still be seeing some new starts. Um, I was really trying to keep up with high tea this year. I missed the last one. I mean, I started all the Prairie Schooler Santas, so that'll kind of be my high tea mark, I guess. Um, did I start them then? I don't remember when high tea was. It was lining up pretty much with our marathons. I thought... I don't know. I might. I think I missed the high tea this past month. Um, there's one more. I'll probably do a start for that. I think that one's in October. So maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It's what it is. It's. I love stitching. I love seeing the things that there are to stitch, and I want to stitch everything that I have. So, um, you know, it gives me something to do. Keep me busy. All that stuff. I have rambled for long enough, guys. My throat is sore. I am ready to get back cozy in my chair with some more coffee and um, stitch some more on his eye today. So that is my plan for the rest of today. Again, I'm hoping to get this a little more regular. Now that Brandon settled into his new work schedule, I think we'll be able to figure out um, kind of how it will work and, and what will be happening. Um, I have to devote some time to a 24-hour planner. I have had some people asking if I will be doing a 2021. It is in the plans, and I will. I'm hoping to have it released prior, you know, earlier in the year than I did last year. So, um, no, that is is being worked on. So, some stitching time will be swapped over to that. So, 
Uh, thanks for taking this journey with me and letting me ramble about all of the things I have going. Um, I'd love to see what you guys are stitching, so comment below if you're stitching anything that I'm stitching, um, or if you think I'm crazy, or if you want to send me words of encouragement that you think I can do it. Can I do it, guys? We'll see. The world cooperates. Um, trying to take advantage of not having that commute time right now. So, and I, I think they've said we, I should be most likely still working from home until December or January, I think is the latest. So, um, trying to, you know, make the most of that, I think is important. So I don't want to look back and be like, why did I just waste time? Not that I think anyone should be putting that pressure on themselves right now because there's a lot going on in our heads and we all just need to find the thing that gives us calm. So if it's stitching, great, do it. If it's not, don't do it. You know, don't force yourself to be doing those things that are not bringing you calm in um, uncertain times. So just find what it is that you need and do it. Uh, I wish all of you well and that you will keep making those X's and that I will keep making those X's. Let's get some stitching done, guys. Bye, guys.